y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with a new kind of video. This is going to be what's in my freezer fridge. It's kind of like a grocery haul, but I already hauled it and it's already put away. I feel like this will give you a good idea of the things I keep. And not all of that is mine. Some of it's my husband's and I'll be able to show you some things that I have for my family that I don't eat myself and what I substitute that with. And first I'm going to show you what's in my fridge and freezer and then I'm going to put you back over here and just bring it out because this is the best light. It's kind of dark over here in this corner. So I hope you enjoy this. Okay y'all, so I have a little side by side and coincidentally um, this is a new fridge so it's still nice and clean. Okay, so that is what I'm working with. That's, what's, that's what it looks like in the fridge side. And this is the freezer side, that. So I'm gonna take you back over here and I'm gonna get stuff out one at a time. All right, so now I'm gonna get stuff out and start showing you, showing you and we'll start with the fridge side. Okay, I'm gonna start with something that I don't ever ingest. And that is vitamin D milk. This is my husband's. And I have said for years, ever since I got on Atkins, this is sugar. This turns to pure sugar. And there's a reason they say not to drink or eat dairy products when you're sick. It makes everything thick and mucusy. I don't want that. I don't want this turning to sugar and I don't want the thick mucus. Okay, two things I have regularly and that is the Bonafide Bone Broth. This is a organic chicken bone broth, and I'll do this or the beef. This is pretty pricey at $8, and so what I do to make this less expensive is I just have one cup of this. And then I, I mix it with some Swanson's chicken broth, and this is so much better mixed with this because this has a little bit of sodium in it. It's good for skin, hair, health. This is good for everything. So I'm a big fan of the bone broth. Okay, then I have some olives, and I have not eaten olives in forever, but somebody mentioned putting this in chicken salad, I think, and it made me crave them, so I'm gonna try that. It's a non-sweet chicken salad, I think it was. I screenshotted it, and I'm gonna do that with these olives. I'll keep you posted on that. And then I've got half and half. I sometimes will put this in my coffee. This goes in my white chicken chili recipe that I got from Chucky Chef. My potato soup I got from Chucky Chef. I'll put both, I'll link both those recipes down there. They are family favorites. So I always keep half and half around. Okay, next I keep about four of these giant champagne tomatoes. And what I do is I keep them over here on my countertop in a bowl. And I just grab them every time I go by. And I eat about one of these every three days. I love my tomatoes. Then I've got a bag of parsnips, and I'm gonna show you this because I have never seen one. It looks like a carrot. I had this in a recent food vlog. These are very high in carbs, so if you get some, be careful with it, or I'm careful with it. Um, I get this and a carrot, and cook these together in a pan with olive oil and then mash them up together. And some of you girls told me to do that, and they are delicious. They're really, really good, but I count these carbs. Okay, then I've got apples, and I always get Fuji's or Honeycrisp, but, but Fuji's are my favorite. And I will eat an apple every day. It, they make me feel good, they don't bloat me, they don't make me gain any weight. I love an apple, and I'll usually put salt on it and have it with either an Atkins bar, peanut butter, nuts, or sometimes just the apple. Okay, then I have an avocado. I'll put this on anything from salads, egg roll in a bowl, um, my sandwiches in the morning, my open face sandwich. And I love um, an avocado. They're just so good for us. Good fat. Then I have a bag of red peppers. I have an orange pepper, and I always keep these. And I, same thing, every little bowl. Sometimes I'll just slice up a lot of veggies and put them in the oven, spray them with oil, salt, whatever spices you want, and just bake them. And just have a big plate of veggies with a protein. And that's what I'm doing a lot of nights. Okay, then my favorite vegetable ever of all time is the yellow squash. I slice it up thin, spray it with oil, add salt and pepper and bake it, and then I eat it with ketchup or ranch, and it is delicious. I would live on some squash, it's so good. And then in the door, I have various coffee mates. My favorite, this Italian cream, <laughs> so good. I used to put this in my kids' milk when they were little. 
and coconut cream. And I should drink these more. I don't. When I do, though, I put regular Coffee Mate that's over here. How about I didn't even clean up my counter before I started this? I put regular Coffee Mate in about two tablespoons of this. So I don't worry about it. And I still get the flavor and not all the fat and calories. Okay, then I've got vitamins. I've got my Barleen's Omega-3. Delicious. I still need to take that this morning. I've also got it in the eye remedy. This is delicious too. That is key lime. And I also have it in a blackberry. And then this is um, in mandarin orange. They're all delicious and good for you. Then my Alive Multi. This is a brand new one that I'm gonna open today. And it, this doesn't taste bad. You can smell the green, but it tastes mostly citrusy. Okay, then I have a V8 low sodium, and I was keeping these when I was having a hard time getting my veggies. I really don't ever drink this anymore unless I'm not getting all my vegetables for the day, but I always get a ton of veggies. But if you don't, on a day, a low veggie day, I think this is great to supplement with. So I keep that. Okay, then I have a spinach artichoke dip. Mary Ellen told me about this, and she said it's really good. And this is market side. I think I got this at Walmart. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really good. She said it's delicious. It's got cream cheese, spinach, artichoke hearts, parmesan, mozzarella, and Asiago cheeses. That sounds good. I'm gonna have that probably with chips on the side of a salad. That sounds good. Then I keep a creamy peanut butter in the fridge. This is so good for a snack cold. It's almost like candy. And have that with an apple with some salt on it. Delicious. Okay, then I've got some leftovers. <laughs> okay, what is this? This is chicken, and these are chicken tenders, and this is what I make chicken salad out of. This was left over from a recipe I was making. I just had a little bit of chicken. So I made it up, and I'm gonna make chicken salad out of that. And then this is white chicken chili. This is so good. Again, I'll put the recipe. Okay, I'm gonna show it to y'all, but it's left over. It's my leftovers. It's delicious, and my husband loves that. Okay, I have two Cool Whips. These go in coffee, mostly coffee. Every night I have Cool Whip in my coffee for a treat. And also put berries in the microwave, put some sweetener in this, it's like pie. I only do that twice a week. No more than twice a week or I start um, bloating and craving sweets. So this is mostly for coffee. Okay, next I have coleslaw and I always keep the coleslaw made. I'll put my recipe down there because what I've been doing lately with this that I really love is putting it on salads. I make a normal salad with my ranch and vegetables and all that and then put stir this in. It is so good. It makes every salad good with a little bit of sweet. Put some of that juice on it. It's so good. Then I have eggs and yeah, a, a lot of mornings I have egg, an egg or an egg and a white. And then my husband just brought this home and it is so good. It is Cracker Cat's New York Extra Sharp Cheddar. And it's white cheddar. Do y'all know about this? I did not know there was a white cheddar. This is delicious for snacks or with salads. It's real sharp. Very good. I'm gonna start keeping some sharp cheeses around for my salads. They're good. Okay, then I keep pimento cheese because I like this um, in the morning on a ciabatta with either lunch meat or an egg. And this is just really nice. It just makes it a little bit richer and more delicious. And I love the pimento cheese. And I have a ground turkey, and this is what I'm making for dinner tonight. I'm just making ground turkey patties, and they are always delicious, always. I like them on salads or just with a plate of veggies. Tonight I'm just gonna have a ton of veggies with a ground turkey patty. Okay, next I have tortillas from a Mexican food restaurant. It's <laughs> just regular flour tortillas. I would never eat these. They have so many carbs, they have gluten. I do eat tortillas, but I eat corn. And I'll have three corn tortillas with a meal, sometimes four. What I do, here's my tip for corn tortillas. Go to a Mexican food restaurant and get a couple of dozen of them and keep them at your house. Because the ones from the grocery store are just not good. So I go down here to Rosa's and I get a couple of dozen corn tortillas and keep them. I don't have any now, but I like to do that when I'm eating corn tortillas. However, my favorite bread ever is this Char's Gluten-Free Artisan Bread. This is so good. It's got 80 calories and 16 grams of carbs. And it's gluten-free and it's delicious. And you don't have to toast it for this to be really, really good. It's great. Okay, next, in these containers, in this one I have hamburger meat. I always keep two pounds of hamburger meat cooked and ready. I can make chili real fast, taco soup, Mexican mess, and add this to a salad, done, with dinner. I always have fast protein ready. And then I have 
some sweet potatoes. And I love the I love these on anything. I love these on salad. I'll get like a spoon and a half of these. I'll have about a, a third to a half a cup because of the high carbs in it, but I love the sweet potatoes. I love them on salad. I love to have a little bit of them with, um, you know, whatever meat I'm having. I just love a sweet potato. And they're really good for us. This is a great carb choice. I have coconut milk. I always keep the coconut milk and sweet. I keep this all the time. I usually put collagen in it after a workout, and it's a great post-workout treat. If I'm hungry between meals, I'll get some of this. It's 40 calories, it's good calcium, it's great for me, and I depend heavily on that. Okay, then a new obsession, y'all. The Del Monte Grapefruit. Now this has a little sucralose in it, but it's only got, for half a cup, 40 calories. It is delicious, great for gut health because of the stomach acid. I love the grapefruit. I have various cheeses. I have mozzarella. Ooh, I have a sharp cheddar rustic cat. Look how big those are. Grate it up. This is delicious. I love this cheddar cheese. And then I have a regular cheddar and I would eat any of those. I'll eat cheese anytime. I'll tell you I'm not that big of a cheese person, but I would eat that. Then I've got bags of coleslaw in there. And I do egg roll in a bowl. And my coleslaw, Mary Ellen gave me a tip one time and said, eat cabbage any way you would eat pasta. That is a great tip. It's good with just cheese over it, like kind of a mac and cheese. Any way you would eat pasta, you can eat cabbage. And then I've got this deli fresh cracked black pepper turkey breast. I eat this most mornings. This or chicken salad is what I eat on top of a ciabatta roll or that artisan bread. I have a sandwich with pimento cheese. This and bread and butter pickles is delicious or a mashed up avocado instead of the pimento cheese. So good. Okay, then I've got a Thousand Island that I love so much, but I'm careful with it because I can't figure out if it's gluten-free or not. But I do love that. I eat that occasionally. And then I keep a pint jar of homemade ranch, made from the ranch packets. This is what I usually pick because there's no carbs and I don't worry about the fat. Then I've got my famous Dave's pickle chips. These are spicy. They're a little bit spicy and bread and butter. And then I have apple butter that I rarely eat right now, but sometimes I do. I go through spurts with this. And I would eat this every morning with eggs, bacon, this, and a half a piece of toast. It's delicious. I would eat that every morning. I'm just not doing it right now. Okay, then I have a Sadie's hot sauce, and of course I would eat this, but this is delicious, y'all. If you've never tried this, look for it at Walmart. This is the Sadie's Not As Hot. Delicious, my husband loves that. Okay, and then I have, I keep cream cheese for recipes, and I would eat this, and butter, and I would eat this, so have those. And that's everything in my refrigerator. Okay, in my freezer, I have various kinds of gluten-free siete tortillas. I'll eat them with eggs or sandwich meat anytime. And I have cashew flour and chickpea flour, and I'm not real picky about the kind, I like them all. Okay, next I have Texas toast, and I do not ever eat this. It's got gluten in it, but even if it didn't have gluten, it's high in carbs, and it's bread. I don't eat bread at night. I eat my bread in the morning. I would eat a couple of crackers at night, but for some reason, not bread. It just seems too dangerous. No, I would never eat that, but my husband loves it. And then I've got a bunch of chicken breast tenderloins, and I always keep this for chicken salad for recipes, you know, to bake in the oven. And it's just, you know, a good protein to keep around. Then I've got a dish or no. No, <laughs> I would not eat this. But my husband loves them. Uh, you know, on a night I'm too tired to cook, he loves these and we'll add some hamburger to them. So we keep those around for him. And then when he eats that, I would eat the real good pizzas that I heard about from Susan W. These should have been in last year's yearly favorites because they are so good. These are made with a chicken crust. So no, they are not gonna taste like a normal pizza. So if you get them, be aware of that. And you might even have to get used to the taste of them. But I love them. I cook this in the oven, up on a rack, so the juices can you know, fall off of it. And then I dip this in queso, and it is delicious. Where's my Velveeta? I didn't tell y'all about my Velveeta in the fridge, hang on. Okay, I had already gotten my Velveeta out and didn't show it to you. And I make queso with this. And a lot of times I will have a big bowl of queso made up. It's just great 
with eggs, it's great on Mexican mess to dip pizza in, and it's just good to keep around. And queso is a cheese dip. I'll put that recipe down below. It's delicious. Then I have two different kinds of bread. I have Sister Schubert's rolls. <laughs> these are delicious, and I don't eat these. But my husband does, my kids do. When we have company, I make these. They taste like my grandmother's homemade rolls. They're so good. They're not gluten-free. Okay, then I've got these against the grain fresh rosemary baguettes, and these are gluten-free. They are not low carb, but I love these. I love these with steak. I love these with salad, and I eat a third. So I guess sometimes I do eat bread at night, but not very often. I will have these for a long time. I eat, would eat a third of one of these or a half if I, you know, didn't mind all the carbs. For a third of a baguette, it's 30 carbs. So that's quite a lot for dinner, but they're delicious and um, I love them and they're gluten free. Okay, and then I've got packages of rice cauliflower. I love this, just with butter and salt. It's so good. Yeah, all of these are rice cauliflower, delicious. Okay, then I have a couple of blackberries. I keep these frozen so they don't go bad because I will have these for months and months and months. Berries are a low sugar fruit. I don't do that great on berries. I'll have these twice a week at the most. Or I start craving sugar and they blow me. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe because I add Cool Whip on top of them. But um, I do love the blackberry. Then I've got 10 pounds of hamburger meat in there. And I just, I keep this all the time. If I don't know anything else to make for dinner, I'll make hamburger patties. And it's just good protein to always have around. Round it up, have a hamburger patty. It's just good to have the hamburger meat around. Okay, then I've got my backups of my bone broth. I keep about four of these in the freezer. Oh, and then in the door, I also have the, um, this leftover lime Minute Maid. <laughs> these make great margaritas. If you drink margaritas, look up the recipe with limeade in it. My husband loves them. I'm not really um, a margarita drinker, but my husband likes them. So um, those make a great margarita. So that is everything that's in my refrigerator freezer. And I will, again, put all the recipes for the foods that I talked down below, and that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.